For the thousands in attendance and millions watching around the world, please welcome your host, the one and only Big Blue Jabroni! Hello everyone, welcome back. Breaking news, Patrick Mahomes has signed a 10-year extension for $503 million. I see a lot of people are split about this. A lot of people think it's smart to lock up the young superstar for clearly the next decade of his life. And a lot of people are just saying that's too much money for any player on any team. Uh, and I'm a little torn in between this. Uh, I think it's obviously going to be a great idea for Kansas City to pay the best player in the league for quite a long time. Uh, anytime you go over to a free agent now or anyone that you're bidding against, they are going to know for quite a long time Patrick Mahomes is going to be there and they're going to be a relevant team. Uh, also on the other side, let's say he gets hurt. You're spending $50 million on a guy who's not going to play that year. Uh, Aaron Rodgers' deal is uh, looked to take a bit of a hit on Green Bay. You look at Seattle, they're not able to provide Russell Wilson with a ton of targets. And uh, it definitely is going to hinder your team when you're paying one guy that much money. Also, uh, one thing I thought was, does this basically give Andy Reid another 10-year deal? He's been coaching for quite a while, and he's getting a little old. Is Patrick Mahomes going to be happy with whoever takes over uh, the coaching job in Kansas City if he ever st decides to step down? Uh, also, another thing that I just feel that might be a little bit uh, unfair, but if Patrick Mahomes only wins one more Super Bowl... Uh, a lot of people are going to think he just spent all that money. He should have won at least a uh, few. But it is really tough to win Super Bowls in this league and to win playoff games. Uh, Brady and Belichick have kind of broken the mold of what people to expect. Uh, six Super Bowls is just unlikely for almost any uh, anybody for on any team. Uh, Drew Brees only has one. Aaron Rodgers only has one. Uh, uh, Brett Favre only has one. He's won multiple MVPs. Uh, Peyton Manning won two. So you'd think if you end up with two Super Bowls, you'd absolutely, Eli Manning, uh, you'd obviously be really happy with that career and excited and be an all time great. But just when you see the number 500 million in 10 years, especially in a sport where you don't see guys get paid like this, you don't see 10 year deals. Uh, maybe halfway through the deal, it looks like a bargain for the Kansas City Chiefs. But also, this really puts a lot of pressure on Kansas City now every year to have a Super Bowl-ready roster. Uh, you're not going to be paying your quarterback that much money uh, to be rebuilding or try and restart this thing. Uh, I mean, they have it humming now, but you got to really expect guys like Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, and players that are going to expect to make more money or go for a new deal that they're really going to be negotiating against themselves because a lot of that cap can't just be on one side of the ball. But if you're Patrick Mahomes and you're that talented and obviously uh, the franchise and the team in the city believe in him and you expect if you have a quarterback that good to just be able to get you to the playoffs itself, it's usually just definitely not that easy. You need to put a team around any of these guys. But... Um, yeah, just really pretty conflicted about this. Uh, in the long run, I do think it's a good idea when you draft a guy, you groom him, and he ends up being the best player that you would want him on your team, no matter whatever the cost would be. But uh, it'll be really interesting to see what happens with now with Dak Prescott, Deshaun Watson. Uh, in just a couple of years, Daniel Jones, we're going to see how he performs and see what his type of deal would be. But this changes the whole market for not just quarterbacks, but maybe other positional players as well. Um, this is like baseball money. This is NBA money. This is different. You usually don't see guys who only play 16 games a year uh, accumulate this type of money. Uh, it's exciting to see. It's definitely going to be put up or shut up time next year for to see if they can repeat. A lot of pressure is going to be on him. He's already won an MVP, a Super Bowl MVP, and everyone's just going to expect the next big thing out of him. Uh, so hopefully we do get football this year. Very excited. And hopefully... We'll see Dak sign a $300 million deal, and that'll burn down Dallas. But uh, let me know. Also, this Sunday, going to be on De Entertain Chris the Entertainer's channel. I'm going to have the link. To the I'm going to have it scrolling on to the bottom. You'll see. And uh, make sure you check that out. Also, I was on Giants Alliance this week. If you haven't seen his channel yet, you got to definitely check that out. 
Uh, but let me know what you think about Patrick Mahomes' deal in the comments section and uh, what your reaction to it was. It. Thanks again for checking out the video.